everyone. Welcome to Green Market at Home, June. This month, we'll talk about how to pay for items in the green markets and PEBT. We'll also discuss how the green markets are addressing safety issues during the COVID-19 pandemic. And last, we'll look at this month's feature, strawberries. Spring in the New York area was cooler and rainier than usual, and the weather delayed the agricultural cycle a little. But now that we're into June, the markets are in full swing. Every week we have new markets opening and seasonal farmers are returning as well. Visit GrowNYC.org for a full listing of market schedules and locations. Sometimes people ask about how to pay in the green market. Each farmer determines what type of payment they will accept for their own stand. Depending on the farmer, you can use cash, credit cards, Apple Pay, Venmo, or other online forms of payment. Some farmers do not accept credit cards, in which case you can visit the information tent to process your credit card. You will receive tokens for use in the market. While most farmers accept tokens, be sure to ask the market manager if there's a specific farmer you want to shop with. Federal nutrition benefits can also be used in all green markets and farm stands. These include SNAP or EBT, as well as other benefits like the Farmer's Market Nutrition Program checks that are available to WIC, women, infants, and children, as well as to older adults. Like credit cards, all SNAP or EBT transactions take place at the information tent, where you will receive tokens to use in the market. EBT tokens never expire and are accepted by all green market farmers who sell EBT eligible products. All checks and coupons can be used directly with farmers. Checks and coupons do expire, so we recommend using these before the tokens. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Congress authorized payments for PEBT, which stands for Pandemic Electronic Benefit Transfer. In New York City, this food benefit will go to every child who is attending a New York City public school when schools close due to COVID-19 on March 15th. New York City residents do not need to apply for this benefit. All public school students will receive this benefit, whether they received grab-and-go meals during the pandemic or not, and regardless of immigration status. For those children whose families already receive SNAP, temporary assistance, or Medicaid benefits, the money will be automatically loaded onto your family's current EBT card. For those who do not receive benefits, an active EBT card will be mailed to the child's guardian sometime between late June and early August in the child's name. For more information about this program, search PEBT in NYC online or visit the site listed at the end of this video. And finally, before we get to strawberries, just a few words about safety in the green markets during the COVID-19 pandemic. Grow NYC has worked closely with New York City's governmental agencies to address social distancing. Many green markets now occupy a larger space than before to allow for more distance between tents and between customers. Markings on the ground indicate where customers line up six feet apart and signage reminds everyone to socially distance. Additionally, customers may not touch any products. Only the seller touches products. This means that most items are touched only by two or three people, the farmer at the time of harvest and the gloved seller at the point of sale. This makes the outdoor shopping in green markets a very different experience from shopping in stores these days. Signage and barriers also remind customers not to touch products. And in keeping with the governor's executive order, all customers must wear face coverings. We want your green market experience to be an enjoyable one. Please stop by the information tent to purchase tokens, ask any questions, or just say hi and let us know how we're doing. Thank you for supporting the green markets. And now let's talk about strawberries. A few strawberry fun facts. Strawberries grow close to the ground and are the first fruit to come into season in the spring. Strawberries are the only fruit with seeds on the outside and each strawberry has about 200 seeds. But even with all those seeds, most strawberry plants are reproduced through runners, not seeds. Runners look like long stems that reach out from the mother plant to create new plants, as you can see here. Strawberries do not continue to ripen after they are picked, so when buying strawberries, look for red berries with no green or white spots. They should also give off a fragrant strawberry smell. Be sure there are no soft or mushy spots. 
Strawberries are delicious and healthy too. One cup of strawberries contains just 55 calories and a whopping 160% of your recommended daily vitamin C, as well as two grams of fiber. Green market strawberries are fresh from the fields and won't last as long as strawberries from the supermarket. So we recommend eating them soon after you purchase them. They don't stay fresh for long. Store them in a cool, dry place for no more than a day or two. If you keep them in the refrigerator overnight, leave them on the counter to get to room temperature before eating them because they taste sweeter when they're eaten at room temperature. Don't wash your strawberries until you're ready to eat them. After washing them, hull them. Hulling is when you remove the stem and leaves. Here are three ways to hull strawberries. First, using a paring knife, gently cut around the top of the strawberry. Second, you can simply cut off the top of the strawberry. A third way is to use a straw. Insert into the bottom of the strawberry and poke it through the top. You can gently remove the hull this way. This takes a little bit more time, but it gives a very nice result. One long-term way to store strawberries is to freeze them. This will change the texture of the strawberry, so if you like fresh strawberries, don't do this. But freezing is a great way to preserve them for later if you want to use them in smoothies or baking or to make jam. This is also a great way to use ripe strawberries that have gotten damaged on the way home. After you have washed and hulled them, lay them in a single layer on a cookie sheet or even a dish. It helps if you can put them on parchment paper, but if you don't have any, it's okay. After they are fully frozen, take them out of the freezer and put them in a Ziploc or any plastic bag that you can seal well. Then store the bags in the freezer until you're ready to use them. Using the strawberries that you froze, you can make a simple strawberry smoothie by combining frozen strawberries or fresh strawberries, some milk or any milk substitute, if you want, you can add a little vanilla extract and you can also add a little sweetener like honey or maple syrup. Simply blend and voila. Strawberries come into season just as the weather warms up and we start drinking more. Try using strawberries for refreshing, low calorie alternatives to bottles and cans of sugary drinks. For those who don't like plain water, the easiest and healthiest option is to mash a strawberry and add some water or seltzer. You can modify this with a little lemon juice for a strawberry lemonade or by blending it in a blender for a smoother drink. If you want something sweeter, add a little honey or maple syrup. For most people, even those who have a sweet tooth and add a few spoons of sweetener, you will still be adding much less sugar than you would get in a soda. Most cans of soda have about 10 teaspoons of sugar. And homemade strawberry drinks are much cheaper than soda too. Many people like to eat fresh strawberries with cream. In Japan, it was once common for people, especially children, to make strawberry milk. To do this, you smoosh strawberries like this, then add cream and sugar. This was done with a special strawberry spoon. Sadly, I don't have a strawberry spoon, but here's a picture of one. Many of us associate strawberries with sweets and desserts. Just keep in mind that with ice cream or whipped cream, you may be adding in calories and fat. So aim for more berries and less adding, or choose healthier foods to add too. For example, you can have delicious strawberry yogurt by adding strawberries to plain Greek yogurt and sweeten with just a touch of honey or maple syrup. This will be fresher, tastier, and much healthier than prepared strawberry yogurt from the store where the sugar content can be very high. Strawberries can also be used for pie fillings, jams, and preserves. And rhubarb, which are the stalks you see here, comes into season around the same time as strawberries, so they are often combined in preserves and baked goods. I made one for this video, but my kids got to it first. And last, strawberries can also be used in savory foods to add a sweet tart zing. They can be added to salad made with lettuce, spinach, arugula, or any other green. Simply prepare the greens and sprinkle cut up strawberries on top. For the vinaigrette, shake equal parts balsamic vinegar and olive oil in a jar and pour onto the salad. You can top with nuts like pecans or walnuts if you'd like. There are so many ways to enjoy strawberries. We hope you'll pick some up at the green market and try some today.